welcome to Scenes We'd Like to See. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panellists can come up with. OK, here we go. The first subject is unlikely things to hear on daytime TV. Well, these four date from the early part of last century, some uh, wear and tear, a little bit of tarnishing there. But uh, please welcome today's Loose Women! <laughs> Welcome to Channel 4 Daytime, or as you said to your boss this morning, working from home. <laughs> <laughs> well, coming up next, two programmes you don't want to get confused. Escape to the countryside and bargain. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the next programme is Pointless. It's the Jeremy Kyle Show. <laughs> Coming up, Teletubbies Uncut. Yes, you're going to get to see Tinky Winky's Winky <laughs> and Dipsy's La La. <laughs> Next, Judge Judy. I have. She's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Let's Decorate the Shit Out of This House. <laughs> this week we're decorating the shit out of a three-bed semi in Orpington. So let's do it! Let's decorate the shit out of this house! <laughs> Next up, another property mm. program, which is pretty offensive when we consider you're all unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to This Morning. Uh, I'm Philip. I'm a man on television, so I can go grey and look older. Uh, this is Holly, one wrinkle, and she's finished. <laughs> <laughs> So David wanted to retire by the sea, so we advised him to buy in Norwich, cos by the time he's retired, the sea will have come to him. <laughs> Next on Flog It, the team meet their greatest challenge yet, a dead horse. <laughs> and now a trip round Dara O'Brien's head in... Hair Hunters. <laughs> Next up, the Austrian version of Cash in the Attic. It's Family in the Basement. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Let's Cook the <laughs> Shit Out of Some Dinner! <laughs> And now on BBC One, let's make an appointment with doctors. If we phone now, we may be able to see them next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to A Place in the Sun, the show that's for people who aren't sure if they want to live in Britain or move abroad. First up, Abu Qatada. <laughs> <laughs> next up on ITV3, it's a cutting-edge American drama. I'm only joking, it's Taggart again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to... I'm gonna sell these antiques if it fucking kills me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic oh. is... Oh. Unlikely things to hear in hospital. I'm afraid we've lost him, but in my defence, Dr Dre is just a stage name. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm afraid you have had a stroke, so can you now take your hand out of my trousers? <laughs> <laughs> the good news is I can save your leg. The bad news is I can't save the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> His heart stop. Quick! Get the defrib... defrib... Ah, oh, sorry, he's dead. <laughs> Who's the doctor here, me or you? Seriously, I've been awake for so long, I can't even tell anymore. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I think we should remove the mole. How did it get up there? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Ashford Hospital. Why not join me in playing pregnant or fat? <laughs> 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 
Now, students, we know the operation has been a failure because we heard a buzzing and his nose lit up. <laughs> Welcome to the cardiology unit. Boom! <laughs> no, you've got to leave this afternoon, Mrs. Smith. We need your bed. I'm shagging a nurse in it at four o'clock. <laughs> your husband is in a stable condition. His room's filthy and there's horse shit everywhere. <laughs> You could look at it that way, or you could think of it as gaining a hook. <laughs> <laughs> For him, that's my former husband. Well, because you asked me to bring in my ex, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we're a bit short of time today. Do you mind if we pull the sheet over you now? <laughs> I'm sorry, we're all full up at A and E. We're going to have to send you to B and Q. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just feel a small prick, and then I'll pull my trousers up and won't bother you again. <laughs> now, what seems to be the pro <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> okay, <laughs> the boy, gonna Chris Hugh and Hal. We come to scenes we'd like to see, so if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panels can come up with. Oh. Okay, here we go. The first subject is... Questions omitted from this year's exams. Using pi, distract the fat kid next to you so as you can copy his answers. <laughs> Using only the English language, write something. History. Henry the Fourth, Henry the Fifth, Henry the Seventh. Which was the greatest Hoover the caretaker ever had? <laughs> <laughs> Maths. Robert has 400 stamps. He liked to put them in 12 different albums. He wants to have them equally in each album. How many friends does Robert have? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Religious studies. If two men have been married for ten years, for how long will they burn in hell for? <laughs> if the fluid has been flowing at 21 litres a minute for 15 minutes, what on earth is wrong with my bladder? <laughs> <laughs> Fill your name at the top of the exam paper. If it's Tyler or Charmaine, get up, leave the school and never come back. <laughs> Using only the mass of the ass and the angle of the dangle, calculate the measure of the measure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If a man travels 12 miles each day to buy a loaf of bread, how long before he realises that living in the countryside is shit? <laughs> Are multiple choice exams too easy? A. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Optician's final exam. What do you think are the main causes of short sightedness? And now? How about now? <laughs> and now? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> and now? <laughs> Media studies, trick question one. Name a business like show business. <laughs> <laughs> Geography. What is to blame for climate change? A. The sunlight. B. The moonshine. C. <laughs> the good times. Or D. The boogie. <laughs> okay. The next topic is things a weather forecaster would never say. The sun will come out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> 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 a 
And these are the worst floods since records began, which was last year when all the records were destroyed in that flood. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, this is a map. I'm not a giant. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a bit blowy today. It's my birthday and my wife promised me one. <laughs> Later on, it's going to be raining cats and dogs because a bomb's gone off in Battersea. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was cloudy earlier. I think I may have a urine infection. <laughs> <laughs> it's well hot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a frosty start for some of us this morning. Cos I came in pissed again and accidentally got in bed with my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be glad to know that scientists have finally explained why we've been enduring this rather long spell of disappointing weather. Apparently, we live in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and over the next three days, uh, we will see uh, some spells of rain. The entrails never lie. <laughs> Things should be getting a lot cooler. Uh, I've just made friends with a black man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid you're going to get wet later on. I'm following you, and I've got a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the ladies are going to be wearing skimpy bikinis tomorrow. It could reach 90 degrees, which is not bad for a man my age. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be a scorcher, so guys, you might as well just staple your balls to the inside of your thigh, because those bad boys are going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Dave. Yeah, pretty easy reporting on things that have already happened. Now, predicting the future. <laughs> And now the shipping forecast. Dogger, car park, my penis rising slowly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the end of that round. The point to Chris here in Raw. Now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panels can come up with. Okay, here we go. The first subject is extracts from DVDs that would never sell. Welcome to exercise for manic depressives. Down. Up. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Welcome to this how to use a DVD instruction DVD. <laughs> First, put this DVD in the <laughs> slot for the DVD. <laughs> Steven Spielberg, Circumcision, the director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the suffragette story with me, Miley Cyrus. <sighs> Ready to get fit, ladies? It's Johnny Depp, Pilates of the Caribbean. <laughs> The main point of this self-help DVD is that only you can help you. No need for me, then. Thanks for the 20 quid. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Funeral Etiquette. When's the right time to fart? <laughs> we are in Africa filming the continent's biggest predator, Madonna in Malawi. <laughs> Welcome to the best of German. Who do you think you are? So, your grandfather was a... OK, we'll leave it there. <laughs> uh, welcome to the best of Test Match Special. That one works. That really helps. This is the DVD you've been waiting for. All the tweets of Alan Sugar read out loud by Stephen Hawking. 